so we have seen that editing con uh, sorry security contacts you can use a user switcher and the security switcher so site could recommend to use a user switcher so but why user switcher that we are going to see is uh, site code requests are executed in the context of the current user as i explained earlier okay so whatever the context of the current user that will get executed in non-logged in cases the requests are made context of the anonymous user okay so anonymous user if there is no login then it is it will be anonymous user for editing an item user should have the proper permission without the permission user cannot edit it okay so now there are two problems one is the user's permission or maybe that user itself okay so there are two options whether you switch the user you use another user that is called a user switcher and you just disable the security that is called as a security uh, switcher okay so user switcher and security disabler so this is how you use the uh, user switcher okay you pass the user the new user information which you want to switch to okay and this is our security disabler so what basically it does user switcher allows a segment of a code to run under a specific user instead of a current context so using you are using okay so what is the scope whatever the scope you are having that line of a code will be executed under the user whatever you are passing to the user switcher that context okay so you i am a abc and you are passing pqr then that code whatever line of a code that will get executed under pqr not by abc then what is the security disabler security disabler elevates uh, elevates uh, the user's permission temporarily so temporarily its permissions are get disabled and it is made it as a administrator rights okay so basically the if i am a abc user and i am a uh, xyz role user it gets temporarily disabled and i am become the administrator for that line of a code that scope okay so that is so this, this is the reason why it is very important to use using also here okay so so why use a switcher i think you now you, with the definition itself you, you must have understand that it has a potential dangers to use okay because you are making the user as an administrator here okay that this can be a very costly and not only that if you do anything with this uh, uh, security disabler is on whatever operation you are perform it will show as a site core anonymous role it will not give you the your name who has done it okay so this is very risky so that is the reason why site core highly recommends to use a user switcher okay because it how, how you can do that by user switcher you can configure a special user okay you can you can have a special user created or a special role created within that you can create a special user which will have a specific permissions only so that will save us from doing some uh, costly things okay dangerous thing in the future so that is why user switcher is very useful and so site could recommend to use a user switcher instead of a security disabler